It's a pageant that aims to build lasting peace by encouraging young women to participate in efforts to bring stability to a country where conflict has become commonplace. All contestants are trained as peace ambassadors and tasked with spreading a message of hope in their respective communities. The pageant is the brainchild of a former beauty queen. I don't think this has ever happened. Um, Apart from the winner having a pet project, all the contestants in Miss Peace Nigeria will be given the opportunity to have a project. All they need to do is just to send the project to us, we approve it, and we allow them to do the project in their own community, and we support them and you know, give them all the support that they need. While there's something in it for everyone, there can only be one winner. And this year, the grand prize went to Odiete John. She's now the proud winner of a brand new car that will get her from place to place as she spreads the message of peace in Nigeria. But that's not all. The new Miss Peace Nigeria has also received an all-expense pay to Dubai and a cash prize. When she returns home from her trip, it'll be straight to work. I intend to start a talk show on media. I want to talk about peace in the home because I believe that crisis starts from the home. If we have a great home, a beautiful home, our society will be beautiful. But if we don't, if we continue to have misunderstanding, arguments, and, you know, abuse, the kids will go out there and take life. It's just like that because the society, I said, again, the family, the home makes up the society. The Miss Peace Nigeria pageant was originally launched in 2010, but it's only taken place twice since then. Organizers say they're hoping to change that and make it an annual event. They say effective peace-building initiatives are needed now more than ever. Kelechi Mekalam, CCTV Abuja, Nigeria.